Hi, everybody. This is Elliot Martin here. I'm an independent insurance agent specializing in Medicare. Um, and today's Medicare topic of the day is going to be the Medicare open enrollment, what you can and can't do during the open enrollment. And uh, I think there's just a little bit of confusion a lot of times when it comes to open enrollment, um, just as far as what you can and can't do as far as changes go. So I just wanted to run through some of those. The open enrollment or it's uh, the official name or actual name is called the annual election period, AEP. You'll see a lot of times the acronym AEP. Um, and what that stands for is annual election period. And that's the time where you can make certain switches to your plan and the changes would go into effect January 1st of the following year. So this open enrollment is gonna be, and usually it runs October 15th and goes through December 7th each year. And the if you make a change during that time, your change will take effect January 1st of the following year. And so this is really this really applies to people already in Medicare. It doesn't really apply if you're gonna be new to Medicare, you'd have other enrollment periods to apply for Medicare, but this is really for people who already made their initial plan selection and want to make changes to their plans. So a few of the switches and really what it comes down to during open enrollment and kind of the way I like to think about it and differentiate um, the, the, the choices you can make is either guarantee issue or non-guarantee. Either it's a guarantee for you to switch plans or certain changes are, non, are not considered guarantees. So some of the guarantees, let's start off with some of the guarantees. Some of the guarantees you can make if you're in a standalone prescription drug plan, meaning you stayed on original Medicare, maybe you've added on a Medigap plan or a Medicare supplement to your Medicare benefits. Um, and you've also added on Part D, which is the prescription drug coverage. You can change your prescription drug plan during open enrollment um, freely. No medical questions, no pre-existing conditions, no waiting periods, you can just switch for January 1st, but you have to make that switch and that selection between October 15th and December 7th. So you're free to switch your prescription drug plan. Um, what we'll do for a lot of our clients and probably four or 500 of our clients actually, this upcoming open enrollment is we will review your prescription drug coverage or their prescription drug coverage. And so we'll get an updated list of your prescriptions, um, pharmacies that you like to use, and we'll enter that through the medicare.gov website where all the different plans in California or whatever state you're in are uploaded. And we'll be able to see, okay, it looks like if we switch you to this plan for next year, we can save you $500 on the year. Um, or if you stay with this plan, uh, the plan that you're currently in, it looks like it's still going to be a good fit for next year. Um, so you can switch your prescription drug plans. Um, the other type of changes you can make is if you are in a Medicare, you know, you capped original Medicare um, and Medicare supplement insurance, you can actually choose to switch over to Medicare Advantage plans, um, which here in Southern California are mostly HMO type of plans. So if you are looking to save some money or, you know, you, you realize all your doctors are in the same medical group and you can kind of narrow things down and, and you're, you'd be okay in an HMO type of plan where you do have to narrow down your network of doctors, um, you can make that switch at that point. And that's when the, the window is open for you to change your mind from original Medicare over to a Medicare Advantage plan like an HMO type of plan. Um, another guarantee that you have to be able to make a change is if you're already in an HMO plan, you can switch within other Medicare Advantage plans. Um, you're free to, to switch within that world of, of plan type which is called Medicare Advantage. So you're free to do that. If you're not happy with your insurance company's service um, or the benefits and you see other plans with better benefits, you can switch over to another plan um, within the Medicare Advantage, you know, under the Medicare Advantage umbrella. Now the one, and those are all guaranteed. What I just described, all those different types of plan switches are all guarantees. Now, the one type of switch that may not be a guarantee is if you're in an HMO, a Medicare Advantage plan, or any other Medicare Advantage plan. There's some PPOs up under the Medicare Advantage umbrella. Um, but if you are in a Medicare Advantage plan and you change your mind and want to go back to original Medicare, you can do that. You can always go back to original Medicare by purchasing a standalone prescription drug plan. And we, we help our clients with this all the time. The one thing that's not a guarantee if you're making that switch from HMO or Medicare Advantage type of plan back on original Medicare 
is in order to purchase the Medicare supplement insurance, you may need to get uh, go through medical underwriting, and that is not a guarantee in most situations. So uh, to, to pick up the insurance that pays for the 20% that Medicare does not pay for on original Medicare, that may not be a guarantee. So that's kind of where there's some confusion. You know, people think, oh, I can just switch back and forth between HMO or Medicare Advantage to original Medicare and I can get Medicare supplement insurance. Yes and no, you can always go back on original Medicare, but it's the supplemental insurance, the Medigap plans that help fill in the gaps in Medicare. Those plans may not be a guarantee. So, you know, that could mean you're stuck without the supplemental insurance, meaning you're going to be on the hook for 20%, the 20% that Medicare does not pay for with no cap to your 20%. So that's kind of the, um, the unknown or the, the variable there that, you know, you wouldn't want to try and get approved first uh, on a Medicare supplement plan. And there are certain um, ways where you can get a guarantee to go back and get that supplemental insurance. Um, it's called, it's part of the Knox Keen Act where, if your HMO plan or Medicare Advantage plan increases any co-pays by 15% or more, you have the guarantee right to purchase a Medicare supplement with the same insurance company you had on your Medicare Advantage plan. Um, so, you know, there are certain, I, I, you, you could call them loopholes, but there are, there are a number of different ways where that could be a guarantee, but it may not be a, uh, you may not have a guarantee right to purchase Medicare supplement insurance. Um, so those are all the types of switches you can make. I know it's very confusing. Uh, it, you know, if you're not familiar with all the terminology and so forth with Medicare, uh, Medicare supplement insurance, Medicare Advantage, uh, Part D prescription drug plan. So if you do need help, reach out to our office. We'll be glad to help you. You can visit our website, martinmedicare.com. You can schedule consultations with us. There's no cost for our services, um, free consultations. So feel free to reach out. Hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And uh, this was the Medicare topic of the day. I'm going to be trying to do do these, uh, you know, five to 10 minute videos. I'm going to try and do them once a day here during the week, uh, Monday through Friday, um, just to kind of have a consistent um, schedule and, and covers different topics because uh, there's tons of different topics to talk about on Medicare. Um, but this is for this is today was about the Medicare open enrollment also referred to as the annual election period, goes October 15th to December 7th. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you got some value out of this. I'll be back uh, next week. Today's Friday. Um, tomorrow is September 11th, so the 20-year uh, memorial for September 11th. Um, so, yeah, so I'll be back on uh, Monday with, with more videos, more live videos, and uh, hope you join us. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.